Welcome to AutoVid Mechanical featuring on-screen view takeoff. In our example today we're going to be using uh, takeoff in an 8 inch chilled water line with its branch lines. The first thing we want to do is set our elevation at 3 foot since the pipe starts right at the chiller at 3 foot, jumps up to 10 foot, and then jumps up to 20 foot, and the main all the way around will remain at 20 foot. So we'll go ahead and start with the 8 inch run click stop there change to 10 foot stop it where it goes up to 20 foot change to 20 foot and we continue on around the main stops here because we changed to 6 inch we'll go ahead and define that we stop here it changes to 4 inch and we continue on to this size change where it changes to three foot three inch and in that run in this scenario we have a uh, for the branch line it drops down to 10 foot coming over to air handling unit 2 so we use the command branch with an elevation change three inch and again we just designate where did this end up at it ends up at 10 feet we tell it that we click right back on there drops down to 10 feet and any rise or drop is designated by the X. Now back over in the lower left hand corner we have a scenario where we've got this branch line going off at 15 foot. So that would actually mean it would come off of the riser here that went from 10 to 20. So we activate that and tell it we want to drop in the reducing T and it's an 8 by 8 by 4 reducing T and the branch line will be at 15 feet. So we go ahead and tell it that. So now all we have to do is OK, continue on the main, we take this right here, take off our valve, and finish that up. The connections to air handling units, the coils, the pumps, the fan coils, etc. are all done using our assemblies which we'll cover in a later video. In this scenario we have a 4 inch branch line going out to air handling unit 1 so we're going to use a command called branch from with elbow. This will not only generate the T or reducing T on the main but it also gives you the, on the branch size an elbow to get up and over other main lines that you may have to be offsetting around. So we're going to stop here again take off the valve and finish that line out. Here we have a multi-branch scenario. We've got a couple of two-inch lines going out to fan coils and a three-inch line going up to air handling unit one. We have a command that's called multi-branch pairs with an elbow. So we'll start with the two-inch, cut the reducing T's in there automatically, and we'll switch our size to three-inch. And we end the run. Here we've got this little 2 inch branch line. We'll go ahead and use branch from with elbow, 2 inch. Stop and take off our ball valve. And finish that line. So just that quick we've been able to take off that whole main with all of its branch lines. If an estimator was curious and wanted to see what all has transpired in this as far as cost and labor for the items they have taken off. You can use a tool, the box in tool here. See how much this run is. And also the transition between my carbon steel main here, since I'm in a copper butt weld system, uh, how two inch copper would transition off of that main. So we can go ahead and show the details of that connection. So it tells us that there's our ball valve at the very top, our soldered ball valve. We got the two inch copper elbow. We've got a, the, the actual connection would be a dielectric uh, nipple that's attached into the threadlet. And then we would have a female adapter and the two inch 90 degree elbow. And now we're transitioned into copper from a carbon steel. How this transition is made can be set up by each individual estimator if they prefer different scenarios in their connections. But it's all done automatically. This is something that really speeds up takeoff 
It makes the on-screen view connected takeoff much quicker than any other software out there.